then uh, identify, embrace, and implement. Yeah. So when you all, uh, yeah, when, when the dream is uh, def definited, actually, and uh, you launch it and uh, starting to develop, then you need to identify the structure into the club, you know, and uh, what uh, went good, or uh, what went uh, well, and what uh, went, um, yeah, actually wrong. But not just in one season, you need to have a look on a certain uh, time, of uh, time of period, actually. What time scale would you suggest to the best to have a look at the whole identif identifying that at the club? So I think uh, if, you, if you really want to have a, a closer look on the DNA of West Bromwich, you need yeah. to look back at least 30 years, to be honest. Yeah. When they had the likes you know? of Brian Robson, Regis. Yes, definitely, definitely. Because on one hand, maybe actually you can embrace these uh, former players as well, you know. Yeah. Because they are all, of course, uh, beloved with the club, you know, and uh, they love the club and will uh, want to help uh, to get, uh, to, to have a, a, a strong club uh, where they belong, you know. So uh, they need to, uh, they, 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 they are definitely, uh, they are motivated to get uh, the, the Albions on the next level, actually. I think a big problem with West Brom is certainly the last, few years has been that loss of DNA, that loss, loss of identity. So to regain that for supporters is vital. Yeah, definitely. Have a look on Bayern Munich. They are just looking on former uh, yeah, players or former employees. Uh, they are always looking. They, they, they need to have the Bayern Munich DNA, you know? Yeah. And they need to know what does it mean uh, to work for this club, you know? Yeah. And that's why I think it's very vital. On the other hand, of course, you need a plan uh, what they need to do or what they have to do with the club, you know. So just inviting them and say, yeah, hello, you are invited to the club for, the, for one game. Uh, I think it's not enough, you know. Well, you I think you, out of it. you look at Man United and Darren Fletcher, who yes. was recently appointed technical director. I someone that knows the club, that. knows the values and can be linked between the first team and the boardroom. And I think that's really valuable. Yeah, definitely. And of course, of, of uh, his experience at Manchester United on their best run of uh, success, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he has so much, much experience uh, to be successful. So, yeah, it, 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 he, he will be a, a hit or, or uh, yeah, a success uh, for Manchester United. And yeah. it doesn't matter uh, yeah, what education or uh, certificates he has, you know. So it's really that important to implement that new yeah. identity. Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's when uh, Dowling started uh, to get this uh, actually in the club with, uh, of course, uh, James Morrison and uh, Brunty. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, is there more, uh, or that there are more players uh, than uh, to, to, to help the club, you know? Yeah.